this with Jim. He head off to work. Now I just want to update you on yesterday's doctor's appointment. So um, I told her everything that happened at the hospital and she was just like overwhelmed with like overloaded with info. She's like, wow. So her main concern was to monitor my HCG levels and make sure that they were doubling and not decreasing. So I went for blood work yesterday and I got to go again tomorrow. And I don't know how many more times, but I'll see what she says. Um, yeah, and then she also sent me for an ultrasound. Now that I was more like mixed emotions about, I was nervous because after all the blood that I saw, I was afraid that I wasn't going to see a baby. And I never saw one with my own eyes. I was just told by the doctor at the hospital that there was a baby with a heartbeat. I didn't see it with my own eyes, so I was nervous that I wouldn't see it. Um, but also excited that I would possibly see my baby. So I went there and the technician did her thing and she showed me the screen and there was a baby. Well, it didn't look like a baby. It was just like a little blob. But the main thing was that I saw the heartbeat flickering and it was flickering at 176 beats per minute. And I was just like, it was just a big sense of relief. Like, I know that still so many things could go wrong. I know that I still have to pray and, you know, be careful, but it was still so nice to just see that with my own eyes and know for a fact that there is currently uh, a baby growing inside me. So that was really like, I can't even put into words, so I'm not going to try, but it, I have the picture, although you can't really see much. It's like... It's that little thing in there. I don't know. I was like, Jim, it looks like a mouse. And he's like, don't tell me that. But um, yeah, I can't even, I can't even put into words. I'm just so, I'm relieved. Anyways, I asked the technician if she saw a clot of blood because the doctor at the hospital told me there was a clot of blood near the baby and that you know, there was tissue that was coming out, so I did miscarry and all that jazz. And so I wanted to know just from her point of view, because, you know, doctors are doctors, but technicians are specifically trained to know about what's going on in your uterus, right? And be able to see and analyze much better. And I know that they are not allowed to really tell me anything, but I just asked to see if she would say anything. And she told me that she did see the clot of blood and she thinks it's a subchorionic hematoma. I think I said that right. And funny enough, I remember some of you on my last video commented that you've had that and you thought that that's what I had. And so it could very well be that. Um, I don't know too much about it. I just read that, you know, a few pregnancies, very few pregnancies will develop this sort of bleeding. And in most cases, it's okay. Most cases, it corrects itself in the first trimester and you just experience some spotting or bleeding or whatever. Um, but in a few instances, it could be more serious. You could be put on bed rest because it could interfere with the baby or like detach uh, the placenta, make you go into preterm labor, all that jazz. But I don't know. I'm gonna see my doctor again in a few days on Tuesday. So just less than a week. And now that she'll have all the information from the hospital and from uh, my blood work and the, the ultrasound technician, from yesterday, she can tell me, she can advise me what to do. Now, I'm like, until then, I'm just gonna still go with my gut because I know that some people who have subchorionic bleeds are put on bed rest. I'm not gonna head down to the gym every day for two hours and lift heavy weights, you know what I mean? I'm just going to continue kind of doing what I'm doing where I'm focusing on my nutrition and then staying inside most of the time, but then, kind of getting outside for a walk or strolling around the mall, just getting my body moving and my blood circulating, just that kind of minimal movement. I don't want to risk anything. There's no point, honestly. Um, yes, I'm sad that my body looks so different and that my body has kind of lost its shape from weight training, but 
uh, right now for the next nine months, I don't care. Like I'm focusing on health number one, overall health for me and my baby. So that's what's up. And, um, but speaking of food, yeah, since like I had the stomach flu where I was vomiting for 24 hours and now I don't vomit anymore. My stomach flu is done. No more fever. I feel fine. Uh, but just, it seems like every evening I get nauseous. Like the sun goes down and I'm nauseous. So like every time I'm ready for dinner, I'll make dinner and just nothing seems to appeal. So I'll make something different for myself. Still doesn't appeal. So I found like the last few days just getting in my calories during the day for breakfast and lunch and snacks and then really not having much at dinner, maybe just a fruit or something because nothing appeals. Really what appeals to me is like just fresh fruit, uh, cold um, green smoothies, just like freshness. And I know that I can't eat like a thousand fruits like I don't want to get, I can't just live off sugars. So right now I'm just gonna focus on not vomiting. <laughs> So it's funny how like it's called morning sickness, but for me it's night sickness, evening sickness. Um, yeah, but it's not too bad. And trust me, I will take every symptom. Like I will take it if it means that the baby's healthy and growing and whatever. So yeah, so that's it. Um, I feel so out of breath when I talk right now, even though I'm just standing here. You're so upset. So upset that I'm not letting you come up on the bed. What the heck are you doing? Just give up and eat. So I have my plum and a few almonds and Oliver's obviously trying to get some. And I'm gonna sip on um, some sparkling water cause I'm kind of bored of regular plain water right now. So yeah. Why are you always staring at me? Get me your toy. Go get me your toy. It's right over there. Go get it. Just fold in laundry. Does the laundry ever really end? I don't think so. Hey guys, so you know how I host diabetes, those one month long weight loss challenges where you uh, lose weight, make money, win prizes, all that jazz. So diabetes also has transformer games and they're six months long. And this specific one has six different hosts for each of the months. So I'm in charge of hosting the month of March and there's 1500 players. So I know that most people in this game won't know who I am, won't know my story, and I want to kind of introduce myself so they felt comfortable with me um, kind of being in their business this month. So I was just like editing uh, what I've, like I've worked on this for the last little while and I was just editing it and making sure it flowed and there was no spelling mistakes. You're probably gonna catch a spelling mistake that I don't catch, but oh well. Okay, so let me read it one more time. <clears throat> Hey guys, congratulations on completing your first month of this Transformer game. I commend you all on making a six-month commitment on your health and happiness. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen, and I started my weight loss journey two and a half years ago. I was tired of unhealthy crash diets and constantly giving up and feeling miserable. On my 30th birthday, I decided enough was enough and told myself I would simply live a healthy lifestyle, finding a balance that I could live with. My only rule was to never give up. 
I quickly embraced the slow and steady wins the race mentality and started documenting my journey on Instagram and later YouTube. I reached an 80 pound milestone and was beyond proud that I never once gave up despite the daily struggle with binge eating. I recently gained about 15 to 20 pounds back because I chose to let loose on my wedding, honeymoon and the holidays. I know there is no finish line to a healthy lifestyle journey. It's something that has to be worked on every day. In January, I got back on track and soon after got pregnant. Being healthy is even more of a priority now. I'm extremely excited to spend this month with you, giving you support in all your victories and struggles, as well as sharing daily motivation. We all have the strength within ourselves to live the lives we want. Question is, will we choose to? So, okay, I think it's good. And, yeah. So, I'm going to be hosting uh, for the month of March this game, and then um, I'm pretty sure because a few of you have asked me if I'm going to be hosting another diet bet even though I'm pregnant and I'm pretty sure I'm going to host one um, mid-April after Easter and even though I'm not going to lose the four percent of like the four percent of my body weight because I'm pregnant and that would be difficult I'm still going to um, participate in the game and just it'll help me to stay on track and motivated and healthy and that's what I need now more than ever. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. So since I've been pregnant, I feel like I'm constantly hungry. Well, more so than usual, because I've always been constantly hungry my whole life. That's my whole problem. But instead of having my three main meals a day, um, I can't do that because I can't go five hours between meals. I get nauseous every two hours. I need to eat every two hours and I get like severe hunger pains. Um, So if I'm going to be eating every two hours, that would be dangerous if I had full-on meals every two hours. So what I've been doing today has been perfect, like more small portioned snacks. Um, it's been it's been great. I feel like I've felt the best day that I have in like a couple of weeks. So I think I'm going to continue doing it this way um, unless there's a day that I feel great or that I really am craving like more of a bigger meal, but This is perfect for now. I'm really glad I don't have to cook dinner tonight because cooking and eating in the evening really does not sit well with me. So um, Jim's mom had brought us some food yesterday or the day before and yesterday I made a um, noodle and veggie stir fry. So he's taken care of. He has plenty of food to eat for dinner when he comes home from work. And for me, I'm just not interested. Right now I'm gonna wash up some strawberries because I feel like that and um, The last few nights I haven't even been eating anything in the evening, but if I do get hungry, um, the only thing I can think that would sit well would be like maybe blueberries and oatmeal or like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just sweet tends to sit better with me. And I hope that doesn't cause health issues, but I'm trying to keep it like healthy and not, and tame, not crazy. That's my pregnancy pillow over there, all coiled up. So comfortable. Wish I would have gotten it years ago, honestly. Um, So, Jim should be home in an hour. I really, really wanted to wait for him to, like, say goodbye so he could be in the vlog a little bit. But I can feel myself just, like, going down and the energy just draining. So, um, if I want any hope of editing and uploading this, I better start now before I'm just like passed out on the couch. So I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.